Oh. Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video and today we are installing a tile wastegate for Anthony's WRX because he has major boost leak or boost creep <laughs> Like this boost creep is so bad that he hit like 26 psi on full boost <laughs> My fault because I was big boosting, but I just wanted to see but um, yes, so right now we are Putting the springs in the wastegate because we're trying to hit 18 psi. Also, when you're screwing down the wastegate springs, um, screw it in in the star pattern so you get equal, equal. Uh, yeah, just like wheels, you guys screw it in in a star pattern so you get equal uh, pressure on all corners. All right, guys, we at Walmart. Um, why are we at Walmart again? We gotta go buy some Loctite for this dude's wastegate. And what is that? Just some things you put on the threads. So that shit don't pop out. <laughs> Let's fuck around. We gotta go get some more demos. I just want some snacks. <laughs> What's going on, bro? Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I bet you won't jump up there. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, jump up there. Oh my god! <laughs> Steven, I bet you won't jump up there. Where is it? Up there, anywhere up there. Bro, you, there's you. a worker right there. I don't want to jump up here. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, Justin did the exact same thing. <laughs> Alright, so we're removing the downpipe. Hey, Justin. Hey, guys. What the hell? Hey, you <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys, so we are removing the heat shield for what? To get to the up pipe, bro. Hey man, I don't know much about cars, dude. I just drive it. Why does this say so? These guys are the brains. Ass. I'm just the model, bro. Alright, so we left off on taking off the heat shield. So after that, there's like 50 bolts like <laughs> underneath the underneath for the the up pipe. Actually there's only two down there. But and then there's like five up top. So let me just give you a reference with the with the new up pipe. So there's two at the bottom, and then there's five at the top, and then we are like two bolts away from making choo choo noises and putting everything back together. Please focus. Okay. So I'm gonna stand away from this fan, but. It's like 2 o'clock in the morning, and uh, I'm slowly dying. Why do you have two openings? <laughs> in order to get the up pipe out, we have to remove half of the header. Half of the header, which is right there, which is all wet and greasy from PB Blast. And once we get that, the up pipe will come off. My goodness, guys. I didn't even say what's up to the fog yet. Man, my hair is all looking, you know what I'm saying? But I'm trying to get this done and over with because we've been on this for two days so far with the AOS. And now we're doing the external waste case. This guy is, he's done. He's over it. You can just tell by looking at his hair that he's done with his car. All right. This thing moves around. All right, Justin. Well, this might be a moment of truth. Okay, I'm gonna give it all to you. Okay. Oh! 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 Fucking <laughs> okay, all that time just for this goddamn iPod, bro. What are you Yeah, there's like a lot of like wires and stuff we have to go around, and it's just AC lines causing so much issues. So we're gonna figure it out tomorrow because it is like 4 a.m. right now. Everybody's literally sleeping. Anthony was sleeping under the car the whole time. I thought, dude, I thought he was working on the car, like helping him work on the car. And then I go up and look, and his eyes are closed. And don't get a Subi. Working on EJs fucking suck. Um, I mean, I don't know about the FA20. We haven't really worked on Brian's car, so his car, Anthony's car, had most of the stuff done. But since he had the boost creep, we had to. We have to do this mod, obviously, because his wastegate's already ported for some reason, and that didn't work. So, now we have this external wastegate and screamer pipe to install, and it sucks. And, shit. 
don't know. All right, what's up, everybody? It's the next day, and day, dude. My hair is all kinds of fucked up. Where we left off yesterday was we had trouble putting in the uh, up pipe into the car, but um, I was doing more research today before we before I came over, and turns out we put the wrong wastegate, <laughs> wrong wastegate springs into the 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 wastegate. So uh, apparently, what people were talking about on the forums is. So like we have the 18 psi springs inside the wastegate right now, but uh, according to the forums, um, it's supposed to be like double the psi you're supposed to run. So let's say we have the 18 psi's in. That's technically supposed to be running 40 psi. So we need to <laughs> take out the other springs and then find like the nine pounds, nine pound wastegate spring and put that in instead of putting using the full uh, full 18 psi so that's probably why it was so hard to push the wastegate spring open so uh, we're gonna go ahead and swap them out and uh, show you in a second we got the up pipe in but we just need to screw it in it took us a good couple minutes to, to figure out how to get it in so we had to take off the header again you just have to keep jiggling the freaking up pipe there's no way for it to like just smoothly go in but I'm gonna show you guys now that it's in, we did take off the wastegate. So the, see, there's the hole for the wastegate right there. All of them are in. We just got to push it all the way up and start screwing it in. Uh, we did have to take off one of the turbo brackets right here. For some reason, that was uh, blocking us a lot. So there's a, there's a couple of things you have to take out to, in order to get it in. So, so your best bet is to just, if something's in the way, just unscrew it, unbolt it, take it out because there's no easy way to get the up pipe in. Now we're just going to screw in the up pipe from the top. So we can fully screw in the header into the up pipe down below. So now we have the, the up pipe in with the external wastegate all connected, tightened it down. Uh, we put the headers back in place, connected to the up pipe. There was a bolt one down now. Um, so we're, all, all we're doing right now is just putting everything back. Uh, we're doing the down pipe now, which is right here. We're putting this little bracket in that holds in the intercooler with this this bolt hole right here. And that's all we really have is left is the down pipe. And as you can see, that blue right there is the external wastegate. I mean, it's a tight fit, but as right now, there's plenty of a gap to work with. And if you guys uh, do get this wastegate, uh, plan on down the road getting an actual another pipe to weld it because. Right now, the screamer pipe is actually hitting like my car. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah. We just adjusted it for now as a- It's just temporary. Yeah, just to make it fit on there and make it work somehow. That pipe right here, the server pipe, is pointing straight to the body instead of pointing straight down. It's fine for now. It's just temporary. That's why I'm never getting a boosted car. Yeah, you are, shut up. No. The only boosted car I'm gonna get is a GTR. You heard that. Just kidding. Tell him, Steven. What's about to happen, bro? All right. So what we about to do? We about to do my thing. Looks good. <laughs> Stuck once again. For the electronic boost controller, we don't have any extra hose, and the like the. In order to connect this to the the uh, the new wastegate, we need about like an extra like two feet of hose in order to get there. So the hose has to come from here all the way down there. All the way down there to the blue, if you can see it. Oh, you can see the screamer pipe. Uh, yeah, all the way down there. That's So we're going to wake up tomorrow pretty early, hopefully, and actually do a day vlog. And also, I just put on the uh, external, uh, the internal wastegate blocker, which is this right here. As you can see, there's no internal wastegate anymore. Oh, internal wastegate actuator. So now, but for some reason, Grim Speed didn't give us any nut and bolt to to put here to close it. So we have to go buy one tomorrow and bolt it down and close it. So this thing doesn't open up when we're hitting boost just randomly. Me and Andrew, we just went to get a longer hose for my electronic boost controller. Um, also, we went to get a nut and a bolt to what clamp down the 
What are we clamping down again? The waste, the internal waste gate. All right, guys. So we got that heat shield in right there, and we also ran the airline for the boost controller over here. We followed the harness so it could stay away from the turbo and downpipe so it wouldn't melt or anything. All right, guys. Um, here's one last update for the video and probably the end of the video. As you can see, the hood is still up, but it's actually for a good reason. We were checking, or we just got done driving the car and the wastegate finally opens. The reason because this, this hose right here was not connected was not connected to the turbo outlet and that was probably the reason why he had so much boost creep because his wastegate wasn't opening but now we have that and it opens up perfectly fine and shoots hella flames um anthony's probably gonna edit this video he's probably gonna put the video from the snapchat on here yeah and uh you guys can see the flames and all the little pulls we did i don't know if you guys can see but that the really shiny where is it? Like right there, right next to the zip ties. There's a shiny metal piece right there. That is the turbo uh, inlet or whatever you want to call it for the vacuum line for the electronic boost controller. And that was what was popped off on the turbo. And that's why the wastegate wasn't opening, but look at that down there. There's the wastegate. Everything finally works now and we are happy it actually holds at 18 psi so if you guys are going to use 18 psi uh use the black spring oh! all right this is for uh our editing purpose um <laughs> All right, Ant, this is, uh, make sure you put this in the video for the wastegate. So, um, Welcome back as, as, as y'all know, as y'all probably noticed, we've worn the same clothes like the past three clips or three days that we've said we've worked on this car. And that is because we don't want any other clothes dirty, ya hoes. So don't be clowning us about wearing the same shirt. I'm, I'm not trying to get freaking like three days worth of clothes dirty just working on a car. So, yeah. Peace out.